Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're taking a look at this uh, 1966 Chevy Nova. Uh, as you can see the leaves are starting to change color just north of uh, Montreal. We're about uh, an hour north of Montreal today taking a look at this uh, this Nova. All the badges are clean. The car is uh, uh, it's been restored. The paint job is, uh, I would say, less than 20 years old. I'll highlight the imperfections in the uh, in the video, but the imperfections were uh, are minor for the age and and the condition of the car. I left the hood open, so it does normally line up, but I left it open. So the first thing, I don't know if it can be captured in the video, but you do notice a line right about here, and then you do notice an imperfection here. So that patch has been repaired on both sides. You can probably see it in the reflection if you really pay attention here. So that patch has been repaired. The same patch on the passenger side has been repaired as well. You can see small imperfections in the paint and the same line, you can see a crack here. That's where the piece of metal that was added. Probably from this angle it'll be much more visible. And then, here you have an imperfection. Chrome work is good. There's a little ding here. I noticed on the uh, on the hood. I don't know if it can be seen in the video, but it's right there. There's a a couple here. This one and this one. Again, I'm just being really picky. Windshield is Pelkinton. Wipers horn are yet to be tested. It has the Chevrolet badge on the side view mirrors. So uh, this side of the exhaust actually has a valve that actuates it, that turns it on. Otherwise, the other one is uh, just for looks. You'll see what I mean when we get to the other side. We took pictures of the original tires as well. See the chrome work in the back is clean. Here on the original panel, this chrome work is clean. Here on the original panel, that's uh, that chrome work is pitting. You have some pitting here. So that exhaust is, or that is just for looks. You have an actual exhaust that's here. alignment of the panels a little bit perfections of the paint here 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 brakes in the front are almost new tires are are practically new the rims are clean we've taken pictures of the uh, original rims of the vehicle liner on the doors is clean just need some 
cleaning and polishing. But here you have a discoloration a little bit. The rubber, I've taken a picture of it. You can see it here. The rubber is a little bit cracked on, on this. You can see the, um, the inside of the door. Seats are clean. Again, small, like here, you have a line. It's uh, not supposed to be there, but a little dirt. Steering wheel, clean, good condition. So, uh, This is the back of the seat, the folding mechanism for the rear seat. You have them here. You have a small imperfection in the carpet. It's an access for uh, for a bolt. Same on the other side. Windows. Windows are functional. Identification number. Some of the wiring. The transmission has been swapped from a three speed to a four speed. I believe it came from a Camaro. Uh, the um, the final ratio on the transmission is a little more convenient or, or it's more suited for highway driving uh, so it has a lower RPM when uh, cruising at highway speeds which will we will be testing uh, we are going to take it for test drive uh, on a highway can see a discoloration on the window or on the mirror here. The roof liner is uh, good. It needs some cleaning though, but it's it's in good condition. What I mean by cleaning is just there and here. Maybe reattach this. We'll be testing uh, the different functionalities of the vehicle. Passenger side. Same access hole. And that's the only imperfection that I can find in the in the roof liner. It needs two hands to open, but you get a Kenwood. speakers there are four minimum that I'm seeing the RPM is stuck at one with the engine being uh, off well I'm surprised to see a cigarette there because there is no smell of smoke inside it is a cold day in Montreal, it's about zero degrees Celsius, but I still can't smell any 
smoke. I'm, I'm surprised to see that uh, cigarette there. Open the trunk. We've taken a lot of pictures of the uh, of the trunk, but just to uh, just to show it on the video. There it is. Fuel tank is new. The fuel tank is right under this panel, but I. Just wanted to show the inside of the truck. So what's missing here is the spare normally goes here and the jacking mechanism. And then there would be a liner, a vinyl liner that would go in here. You can see the jacking instructions, etc. But the trunk has been readjusted, clearly. It, the car was repainted, obviously. That's the fuel tank. That's the differential and the exhaust. The leaf springs, the leaf springs mounts. The uh, owner, the current owner of the vehicle told me that they have uh, transferred a lot of uh, pictures to the potential buyer. So they have pictures of the undercarriage as well. They have the original, the seller has the original tire or the original rims on tires I did take pictures of them and they have the fenders uh, the front fenders to uh, to fix the imperfections that I highlighted earlier in the video the chrome work again it's small things but it's uh, while attaching the chrome to the car or while removing it as you can see um, just trying to capture as many of it as uh, as many imperfections as I can but that gives you an idea see when I was doing the walk around you can barely see it but then when I get close you start to notice little things the uh, rubber on this side has been replaced my favorite part we have a separate video with the engine running but look at that. A 327. Power brakes. The car's been converted from drum brakes in the front to uh, disc brakes. We did an oil quality test. We checked the coolant, we checked the belts, the fan. battery works is a little bit low but it's working it's uh, it's sufficient to start the engine shock absorbers you can see the top of them is clean all the uh, this is an aluminium uh, radiator then you have a transmission cooler installed as well again more badges you can see the undercarriage is clean. My only comment would be the top ball joints on both sides, the boots, I guess it would need to be uh, re-greased. So the VIN number here does not match, or the body number does not match the one that's inside the door. The transmission dipstick is here for the replaced transmission. We 
have a short two minute video showing the um, engine being started on a couple of occasions and revved. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's what the keys look like. The first square is the one that starts the car, the circular one is the one that opens the doors and the trunk. You see a New Jersey uh, plate in the front. The car was bought from New Jersey, which is... Um, cars are just... Uh, they have less rust there, or they, they're more... They're less prone to rust than, uh, than in uh, more northern climates, like in Quebec. It's, it's warmer in New Jersey. Again, take time to slow down the video. I'm shooting it in uh, high quality, just to see the reflection. Little things here and there, but other than that, the car is in good shape. All right, well. This is the title certificate from uh, state of New Jersey. 66 Chevy Nova and uh, the uh, identification number is the one that matches the one inside the door as uh, highlighted earlier well it's been uh, Sinan from car inspected and that was a pre-purchase inspection on this uh, 1966 Chevy Nova we're about to take the car for a test drive thank you for watching